Well, adventure, testing of faith, finding God in amazing ways. That's not just the story of Beyond the Mask movie. It's the real life story of Salina High School senior Alyssa Sherritt. Alyssa was allowed to graduate early so that she could go on a mission trip to Haiti, where she helped out at an orphanage. Andy has more on this week's OIO Faith on the Field story. We built benches for a discipleship program up the mountain, and we built 13 of those all week. And um, um, on the last day, we brought them up to um, the house dad's discipleship program up the mountain. And when we went up there, before we brought the benches, they were sitting on sticks um, on the ground. And then when we brought them the benches, they were fit in like 10 people on every bench. So there was like almost 100 people there when we came. And we handed out um, little bags and they had soap, toothbrush, toothpaste, and a little toy. And we brought soccer balls to them. Going into it, I never really liked kids because I thought they were brats. But um, the kids really, um, they really, they're really sweet. And um, it doesn't matter. They don't know what you've done in your life or who you are until you come there. And it's just like a fresh start for someone to know you. And they just love you wholeheartedly. and. I don't know. I've never seen them so much love before. And when I was leaving, um, we pr the kids prayed in Creole for us, and then we um, then Fennel said it was hug time. So we got hugs, and this one little boy he made an impact on me. His name was Clifford. And the first couple of days we just played soccer together, and then the last couple of days he would hold my hand and walk around with me. And before we went to prayer time, he would he grabbed my hand and he took me to his bedroom. And he said, I have something for you. I said, okay. And he got on top of his bed and he grabbed an English dictionary. And um, he was looking from Creole to English and he had five letters for me um, in English. And then I wrote him a letter back. And by the time he said it was hug time to the time I got on the truck, he gave me seven hugs and I just bawled and I didn't want to leave him. 